Hey there, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ochla from Eru Diet Nutrition and another short topic for diabetic people. Now today we are going to discuss about nuts, seeds and dry fruits for diabetic people. Okay, so dry fruits and nuts and seeds, they have been our choice of food groups because they are so awesome. If you're a diabetic, can you consume nuts? Of course you can, but just make sure the right quantity. Always focus on the right quantity, okay? And except for Miru diet, nobody is going to tell you what the right quantity is, okay? Six to eight pieces of almonds, okay? That too should be soaked first. Have soaked almonds, have soaked walnuts, okay? Six to eight pieces of almonds or two to three pieces of walnut. This is what in dry fruits that you have to take. I suggest you either avoid cashews, okay? Even if you want to take cashews, you have to decrease the limit even further. Not more than four pieces of cashews. Now, when you consider nuts and seeds, they are made up of approx 20 to 25 percent of carbohydrates but all that carbohydrate is in complex form all that carbohydrate is coming with uh, a lot of fiber and good amounts of healthy fats but still i do not want you guys to over consume it now if you are young you have diabetes unfortunately if you are young let's say you are 25 to 30 years of age you can have a little more amount of nuts okay maybe double the amount that I have just mentioned. But if you are uh, at an age group of 45 or 50 and without the consultation of your doctor or your dietitian or any other nutritionist or erudite, without my consultation, I suggest you do not consume more nuts okay keep your nuts intake low have some nuts daily have some dry fruits daily but keep your nuts intake low the another very beautiful seed that you can eat is flaxseed or chia seed okay both of the seeds they are rich in fiber they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids omega-3 fatty acids will decrease your body inflammation improving your blood glucose levels also promoting your hdl okay that is high density lipoprotein great for your body you should have one to two spoons of chia seed or flax seed every alternate day in a soaked manner not in the roasted ones in a soaked manner now what other seeds are good for you let's talk about sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds sesame seeds see almost all these seeds are packed with tons of vitamins and minerals and fatty acids good fats these are very important for you so i suggest that if you are having six pieces of almond in the morning okay later on you follow up with one or two spoons of chia seed or flax seed and in the evening i suggest you can have 10 to 15 grams of pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds uh, or you can have sesame seeds so i suppose in a whole day that contributes to about 30 to 35 grams of nuts seeds and dry fruits okay so 30 to 35 grams the best amount okay now don't overdo it please please don't overdo it don't try to consume just one type of nut in a higher value go for a variety of nuts but have them in smaller portions divide them in your whole meal schedule okay so i hope this video has helped you see you guys next time take care